welcome back. It is another um, Backyard Bugs lesson with Mrs. Icor. So I'm happy to be here with you with this super fun, kind of messy project for you. So um, to get started, I wanna share with you a little bit of um, the inspiration for this project. Um, I've been loving summer and all the bugs and butterflies and worms and beetles and all that sort of jazz. And um, I also love books. And one of my favorite kids' books, and I don't have it at home, it's in my classroom, is A Very Hungry Caterpillar by author and illustrator Eric Carl. He's a wonderful artist. We've studied him many times before. One of the really cool things he does is he paints paper and then he cuts it out and puts it into shapes of everything that he wants the picture to be. So it's super fun to read his books and look at the different papers he's using and um, the different textures he gets on those papers. It's just amazing. He's so genius. So anyway, that was my inspiration. And looking on Pinterest, I saw on one teacher's blog spot, it's called Mrs. Karen's Class blog spot, she had the idea of dipping a balloon into paint and using that with her students to make the caterpillar's body. And I thought, ah, genius. So thank you, Mrs. Karen. We are gonna use that same idea today. So the supplies that you need are as follows. You need paint and I just use little Crayola um, temper paints. Those work great. If you don't have those, but your mom maybe has some craft paints, those work perfectly great too. All right, but you need some kind of wet paint, not um, watercolor really wouldn't work. You need paper, something big enough to make your caterpillar on because balloons are pretty big and they will need a bigger piece than, you know, our usual eight and a half by 11 or nine by 12. Also, you're gonna need a balloon. Now, in my case, I didn't have any balloons in the house and I decided, oh, I wonder what else I could use. So I came up with these little bouncy balls. This one's kind of squishy. I think this one will be more like a balloon. We'll give it a try. For this guy, I used um, a small little, used to be, oh, it says Florida orange on it. It's just another little bouncy ball. That one um, worked great, but I have a hunch that a softer ball or a balloon would be best, all right? And the other thing I didn't put on, but I recommend is some kind of paper plate or palette, all right? So I want you to press pause, grab your supplies and come on back and we'll talk about caterpillars a minute and then we'll start making them. All right, ready? Okay, welcome back. So like I said, I've been loving summer and all the bugs and I'm actually kind of afraid of spiders, but I love bugs. They're so cute and funny. And um, I've been raising caterpillars like you saw with our other project that we did out of recycled magazine papers, right? So I raised so far 12 and released them. I think Mrs. Knopp probably has released hundreds already today, this year, and her friends as well. She has a butterfly club. And so I have in my habitat here, this one, um, two very hungry caterpillars. They are chomping away. The only thing is I can't show them to you yet because they are about the size of a fish. Yes, super tiny. But they are very hungry. And just like in the book, they are chomping away all day long. Now, can you remember in the book, some of the things the very hungry caterpillar was eating? Yes, apples, oranges, watermelon yes and he got bigger and bigger and bigger before he made his chrysalis and um turned into i'm not gonna tell you you'll have to read the book all right so we're gonna make ours today and i have my paint on my little paper plate palette you do too i think and um i'm gonna give you one more tip you might want to pause the video for too so this one as you can see, I added, before the caterpillar, I made my beautiful leaf 
just markers. You could use crayon marker, paints, whatever you want. This one, I did the caterpillar first, and then I had to add something underneath, and I added my little tree limb and leaves and grass and flowers for him. And that was super fun too. I think it's kind of easier if you already have something for your caterpillar to be on or to be munching. So that's up to you if you would like to. Now would be a great time to maybe pause, grab your markers, um, maybe put on a big leaf so that it has something to chomp. Maybe you leave a spot with that so that we can see where he was chomping and then color it in. I'm not gonna do that because I already did that on my other one and I'm gonna keep rolling. But if you want to, you can pause and do that first. All right, so I'm gonna use this time the squishy ball because what I realized with the other balls, um, the thing that's not the same as a balloon is those were not that squishy. A little bit, but not much. So I'm gonna this time take my squishy ball and I'm gonna pick this blue and green first, I think. And notice on my plate, I didn't just pick one color, I actually added multiple colors to the same spot. You know, then the ball or the balloon can pick up some different colors. So I have blue and green on here. And I'm just gonna find a spot on my page, wherever I want my caterpillar, and I'm gonna press my ball or a balloon like that and I'm gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna add a little white too. All right. So I'll give it a try. And I see that I have mostly blue, you can see it too. So if I'm like, you know, I don't know, I think I need a little more color, then you're the artist. Drop in a little more color see what happens. All right, now I have some yellow on there too. There we go, that's better, I think. It's giving a little bit more oomph to that. All right, so there you go. We're just dipping and dabbing. And give it a nice, nice push. Dipping and dabbing. And the more you push, the bigger your little body part gets, right? You can go back over them if you don't like it the first time. You can do it again. You can do it lots of times. All right. So there we go. Now I'm gonna actually make the head of my caterpillar a little bit different. So I'm gonna dip it first in this color, and then I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of hmm, maybe a little bit of black, maybe a little bit darker. All right, so you're just gonna kind of experiment and see what looks best, what looks fun, right? There's his head, a little bit darker than the rest of his body. All right, now I'm gonna put this on my newspaper and I'm gonna actually start adding some detail. Now, I'm gonna take, I'm just gonna use my finger today. We're gonna just, you know, not do the paintbrush thing. If you want to, you can use the paintbrush. I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna give them two friendly eyes. And I have a little black on my paint there. So, um, yeah. oh, maybe a little more. So you guys can work on your eyes too while we're going. Or maybe you're still working on your caterpillar. I can't wait to see how they turn out. They're gonna be so fun. I think this would be a fun thing to do outside too. All right, so I'm using my finger. A little bit of first eyes. The other thing I need is to add his um, stripes. So I'm gonna give him some stripes. And it seems like sometimes they go from the bottom and the top. So I'm just gonna make them. And make some stripes. about caterpillars is they have how many legs? All insects have the same number. Six, correct. So I'm gonna add his legs at the bottom. 
Notice on some caterpillars, especially the monarch ones, they have these little, um, looks like they have way more legs. These little, um, you can see them back here, they're called pro legs. See those back there? They're not really, oops, I'm sorry, I'm moving. They're not really legs. They don't, they don't move around. They are just these little bumps or nubs on, on the back of the caterpillar so that when its legs pull it to the next thing, the back of its, of its body can actually catch up. So those little nubs kind of catch the leaf or whatever so that it can keep moving. So those are kind of cool. So if you want to add some little pro legs, they're a little bit smaller, a little bit rounder there at the back, you can add those too. Also, they have antennas. I think all caterpillars do, but I know the monarchs have two sets. One are real, the other set are just, I don't know, to kind of throw off their predators, maybe trick them. So I'm going to put those up here, All right, and a couple of those back here. And I'm just finger painting now, so it's okay if they're not perfect. All right, he's cute so far, I think. I'm going to give him a little mouth. So he looks kind of hungry there. Let's see if I can get it to show. All right, there's his mouth. And there we go. He's pretty good. So all this with paint, a balloon, or a ball, and um, a little creativity, right? So now, if you want to, you can go back, like I did on this one, and add all the background or you can just leave it and enjoy him. But whatever you do, don't forget to take a pen, a marker, or something and sign it because this is your work. You're the one that created this. I hope you had fun. I hope you make a whole bunch of different ones and maybe you even look up some different caterpillars that go with different butterflies and try to make those with your paints or mix your paints to see what colors you can get, all right? So do a little bit of experimenting, have a good time, and don't forget to post what you came up with so we all can enjoy it too, all right? Thanks so much for joining me.